This place right here, this where I came at back in 2007. When I ain't had no job. I had a job, but I got laid off. Then I came here to get some unemployment. I had to take some classes, some like some interview classes on how to do an interview. And so I came here. So they had a program going on at the time. Just started the program back in 2007. Oh, what was that? What? Oh, oh, my bad. I couldn't hear you, man. I couldn't hear you. Oh, hey, just, just a little bit I had in my pocket. That ain't too much, man. Hey, but for y'all guys that follow me on YouTube, man, y'all trying to get up in this, y'all trying to get in this trucking career. This is where I started at right here. In 2007, this is where I started at right here. I came here to get unemployment. They sent me to the um, sent me to the truck driving program they had going on at the at the community college, and pretty much, hey, that's how it all started. That's how this trucking thing all started, man. And the same school that I went to, that they sent me to from here, is is where I had the uh, the flatbed scholarship that I posted the link about. Uh, a couple weeks ago. Hey, that goal already been reached. We got 20, we raised up about $2,700. We're paying for five students. Uh, we're actually, we're gonna reimburse the five students that already graduate. So just to let y'all know, a little update on that. Five students gonna get reimbursed at the same school that I originally went to back in 2007. And we're gonna do another one in a few months, but, uh, yeah, pretty much. Flatbed Gang Scholarship. I had to change the name to Flatbed Family because, you know, Flatbed Gang don't sound too good if they was to publish it in the newspaper or whatever. So, this is where y'all money went to. Everybody donated money. This place right here, they sent me to truck driving school. That same school, we helping out five students. So, there it is, where it all began. Flatbed Gang, man. Love y'all.
gonna use two chains in the front, two chains in the back. Everything in the middle gonna be straps. Hot out here. I ain't gonna cap with you. Hotter than a motherfucker. Hey, number one question people always ask me about. Like I'm some kind of securement master. I'm really not. I'm still learning as I go, just like y'all. But a question that a lot of people ask me. People hit me up on Facebook. Hey, motherfucker, be sending me messages on Messenger. Be calling me, be asking on YouTube. The number one question I get asked about securement. Whew, damn, it's hot. And I'm putting my arm on this trailer. That ain't making it no better. But uh, ratchet binders. Like I said, I ain't no securement master. But I do good enough. Notice I ain't wrapped the chain around yet. Cause I'm about to put some straps up here. And those straps will make it sink down a little bit more. Then you come back at the end and tighten these ratchets up just a little more. You see how, how high I got them up? Unless you got a ladder. From my experiences, the best thing to do is to climb on the trailer so you can get up there. If you try to do it from the ground, you ain't gonna be able to get that top hook high enough. Like I said, unless you got a ladder. So the best thing to do from my experience is climb on the trailer. Hey, no matter what they tell you at the shipper, get your ass on that trailer. Hey, I've been here a few times. It's a camera. It's a camera way down there on the pole past that guy. Hey, they ain't got no cameras where I'm at. I know this from experience. I get my ass on the trailer. I, I make sure I get it done. But uh, I saved, I saved these last two. So I got two more right here. And then I got another, I got two more on the other side for the um, for the cross chains in the front. I'm gonna throw a cross chain up here. But I got these two that I'm gonna save. I'm gonna do that cross chain last. But I got these two. I'm about to climb up there, show you how it's done. I ain't gonna do too much talking once I get up there, cause I'm in a rush. But the, the key, before you put the ratchet on the chain, is you wanna pull this chain as tight as you can get it before you put the ratchet on it. Cause if you don't, you're gonna be ratcheting this motherfucker and your chain ain't gonna never get loose cause you got too much play. So like I said, top top hook, gonna put it at the top, as far top as we can get it. Then we're gonna pull this up and get it tight. And that bottom hook is gonna go somewhere in this area. Just like down here, let me show you again. Once I get up there, I'm not gonna do no talking. I'm just gonna do it. See where that top hook is at? Top hook, bottom hook. You can't do this from the ground unless you got a ladder. So best thing to do is just climb up there. So here we go. I'm about to get my ass up there, show you how it's done. what I said, pull it tight. Pull it tight. Pull it tight. Pull it tight, pull it tight. Now we're gonna pull this one tight. We got the top hook up there. We're gonna pull this one tight. Pull the tight as you can get it. Stretch this one out. That's tight. All we gotta do now is twist it. If you got it tight, your hooks ain't gonna move once you got it tight as you can on that bar. Let's see how good it's gonna work. I, I got it going the wrong way. I gotta reverse it. Look at that. Bottom, top and bottom hooks ain't moving. Look how easy that is. Let's speed it up a little bit. How long did that take? 10, 15 seconds. Now look, we ain't, gonna wrap, we ain't gonna wrap this around yet until we put the chains in the middle. Then we're gonna come back and tighten it up a little more when those chains push it down a little bit. Let's do the other one. Pull it 
tight. Trying to get it as tight as I can. I don't think I can reach that other one. Just have to stick to this link. I thought I could get it to that link, but I couldn't. Yes, I can. Woo, there we go. The tighter you get it from the start, the easier it is to tighten it up. Look at that. It's already it's already tightening up. I want y'all to count it. Tell me how long it takes. Starting now, just count. One, two, three. Gave you a three second head start. Cut the, cut the timer off. How long did it take? That, that motherfucker ain't going nowhere. Now I'ma throw the straps. See y'all, see an open space? Two chains front and back, now I'ma throw straps in the middle. get this spot when I get to this pilot late nights that's the entrance right there you see it right there in between that that pole see that pole that's the entrance it's another entrance up here you see that truck coming off the exit he's coming in the front entrance hey if you ever I know this truck stop pretty good but if you ever get to any truck stop never been to not just truck stops point of interest shippers receivers gas stations make sure y'all use a trucker path trucker path will put you there especially when it comes to truck stops tell you what they got to eat tell you how many parking spots they got tell you if they got showers tell you fuel prices tell you death prices you can look at reviews from other truckers from a month ago Years ago, yesterday, today, updates on wait stations, all kind of things. If you're not using Trucker Path, and if you click on my link in the description, you can save 10%. Premium, if you want to go gold or diamond, upgrade to the truck route. Nice little truck stop. Let me go back here and check my light. Light set to come on at night. I tested it in my bunk. I see it flashing already. Pretty sure that's what I see. Make sure my light, my banners, everything all good. Yeah, it's flashing. It's flashing. So look, this is where I'm leaving my truck at tonight. This is in Dunn, if I ain't tell you. This is Dunn, North Carolina. This is where I park at. We're going to leave my truck right here tonight. But I'm about to go to the house. Hey, stop what you're doing. If you got an iPhone, go over to the App Store. If you got an Android, go to the Play Store. 
download Trucker Path. Trucker Path has an exciting feature, truck entrance and exits. This is an exciting feature, allowing each driver to plan your trip with more certainty. No more circling around a parking lot to find the easiest way in or fighting against oncoming traffic. Our app takes truck entrances and exits into account already. With features like this, we can leave the driving to, to the drivers and the logistics to the trucker path. Keep on trucking, gang. Flatback gang, I love y'all. Download the app. 10% off using the link down in my bio. Thank you. Flatback gang.